Being a woman in the early 1900s had its drawbacks. Expectations as far as how a woman should dress and act were very rigid. In many places, women also had not yet gained the right to vote or hold political office. But in the end, brilliance is brilliance, and not even these disadvantages were enough to hold back some women who would go down in history as trailblazers. One such woman we'll talk about today, an aquatic virtuoso who changed women's relationship with the water forever. Her name was Annette Kellerman. Annette Marie Sarah Kellerman was born on July 6th in 1887 in New South Wales, Australia. Due to weak, underdeveloped legs, she was prescribed some of those steel, painful Forrest Gump leg braces when she was only six years old. Soon after that, her parents, Frederick, a musician, and Alice, a musician, decided to enroll her in ballet and, more importantly, swimming classes in order to strengthen her legs. This would have the aquatic equivalent of giving Beethoven his first harpsichord or Ron Jeremy his first date. By age 11, her legs were fine. By age 15, she had won her first race. And not long after that, she captured the world records for the mile and 100 yards. When her family moved to Melbourne due to her mother's new teaching position, she began doing swimming and diving exhibitions. Things like swimming in a fish tank with fish, and swimming with a mermaid's tail, being one of the very first to do so. One of her performances involved doing an underwater ballet in a clear tank. This is credited as the inspiration for what we now know today as synchronized swimming. At age 18, she became the first woman to attempt to swim the English Channel. She tried and failed three times, though during this period she was still besting men in swimming competitions in Paris, France, and all along the Danube River. Also, let's add a little perspective here. This is what a woman's bathing suit looked like at the turn of the century. Did you see that? That was a bathing suit. You try swimming 22 miles across the English Channel in full Gothic Lolita cosplay. It was literally a full ensemble complete with pantaloons. And did I mention that sometimes weights were sewn into the hem so that the skirts didn't fly up underwater? If the movie Jaws had been made in the 1900s, it would have been a pretty short movie. They would have caught Jaws almost immediately because he would have been so fat from eating women who were trying to get away in a weighted prom dress. Anyway, soon after these setbacks, Annette seemed to have a revelation, an epiphany, if you will. It was as if she said to herself, hmm, if I'm gonna be a competitive swimmer, maybe I shouldn't go into the water carrying 30 pounds of wet weighted fabric. And so she invented the women's one-piece bathing suit. In one of her books entitled How to Swim, Sarah Kellerman writes about how the woman's bathing suit is perfect for dry land. Unfortunately, the radical notion that a woman's swimsuit should be efficient for swimming was far ahead of her time. Let's do a brief comparison. This is what a man's bathing suit looked like at the turn of the century. This is a picture of Annette Kellerman in her one-piece bathing suit. Now guess who gets arrested for indecent exposure? She did win her case, however, probably citing that the woman's bathing suit is stupid. But after she won the case, she sold her own line of women's one-piece bathing suits titled Annette Kellerman's. Things like inventing synchronized swimming and changing women's swimwear should be enough to cement someone's place in the history books. But Annette wasn't done yet. She was all like, hmm, well, now that I've conquered the swimming world, I guess it's time to settle down. And by settle down, I mean become a movie star. So she became a movie star. Many of her movies had an aquatic theme, and she became the first actress to use a working mermaid's tail on screen. In the movie Daughter of the Gods, she also became the first major actress to ever do a nude scene. 
And just like a Jackie Chan of the sea, she did all her own stunts. Insane things like diving into the sea from 90 feet into the air, or diving 60 feet into a pool full of live crocodiles. Eventually, she settled down with her husband to open a health food store and to write several books on health, beauty, and fitness. Finally, Annette Kellerman died at the age of 88, still healthy and active as ever. Swimming champion, actress, author, model, fitness guru. Annette Kellerman did all these things and did them very well. She is a shining example of what women can achieve when they are allowed to follow their passions to their fullest extent. And today we see her impact anytime we go to the beach, any beach all over the world. Annette Marie Sarah Kellerman is immortalized with her very own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Those crocodiles must have been like, uh, she looks delicious, but I probably won't be able to catch her. Where's that Captain Hook guy? Let's, let's eat some more of him.